who hit the bullseye with this new target enclosure. Stay tuned to find out. Okay, everybody, so here is the lucky uh, spider. See, I misted the sides there. I wanted to get some moisture in here before I put this one in. I do not know the sex of this one, but I would not be disappointed at all if this one ended up being male uh, because my other one is definitely female. Um, but I said that with my Ornithoctonae species louse or the uh, prison day abuelus. And, of course, uh, I have two females. And the way that my luck works is that this one will also be a female. Just because I, it's smaller and I want it to be a male so that I could breed it with my other one when she's ready. And uh, odds are this one will end up being a female too. Just because that's the way the spider gods smile on me. Or laugh at me, I should say. Um, yeah, so how did I decide this one? Well, this is the one I talked about before, if you guys remember uh, in, the, in the last video when I showed these enclosures. This is that, again, this is that target enclosure. You guys saw it in the beginning there. Um, how did I decide this one? There was three candidates to go in here, actually. And I actually stopped at Target on my way home from work today to grab another because I had debated two that I really, really thought would work well with this. And then the other one was, uh, I'm not really quite sure. Um, and they had one, but it was scratched all the way up the side and it was on the long side. If it would have been a short side, that wouldn't have been a bad thing. I would have just used that side as the back, but, uh, no, it was the, it was the long side. So I didn't get it. I ended up just getting two longer, taller enclosures. Uh, they're like, I don't know, they're maybe four by four by seven. Uh, maybe not quite four. Maybe they're like three and a half by three and a half by seven, but I got two of those. We'll use those for some fossorial species like the, or even, you know, maybe even the hottie hotties can go in there when they get a little bit bigger or um, the sea shiote. Uh, that one could go in there. Um, you know, we could use it for some arboreal species. I do have like the, the blue ones are pretty similar. If you guys remember the blue top ones that I had that I fought mold with on both of them. Um, but I do think that was substrate, not the actual enclosures. Those enclosures will get boiled. Uh, we'll use boiling water to completely clean them, and then we'll put them in the freezer to kill anything else that's in there just to be on the safe side that the mold won't break out again in those, and we'll reuse those for uh, whatever. Uh, you know, I, I'm thinking these taller, thinner enclosures will work well with some of these fossorial species because, you know, they, they really only need to go down. They don't need a lot of ground coverage to, to roam or move or, or chase prey. They are, you know, edge of the burrow kind of spiders, uh, like this one here. Um, my Ephibopus cyanonathus, who used to be a burrow-only spider, is now out on top all the time, and I, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why he decided all of a sudden that he wants to be up top and not go down below the ground anymore. Uh, this would be a, the other spider. You're probably wondering what what the hell other spider were you talking about putting in here, Dave? Well, the other spider was the Ceratodorus meridionalis. Was the one that I was thinking of putting in here. Um, it would have done some nice webbing, which this one probably will too, and make a few little tunnels. So I will be on the lookout at Target to find another one of these. Um, you know, I'll have to wait a little while because I don't. Again, I don't want to buy the one that's broken um, or scratched. Uh, even though it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it was like, you can see my finger it was scratched from like here all the way like down to the edge. And it wasn't anything I could rub out either. It was a, it was a scratch. So, um, I probably could have took it up there and said, Hey, you know, can I get a discount on this thing? Cause it's scratched. They probably would have gave it to me for, for half price, but well, maybe I'll go back and see. So yeah, that's, that's what we got. Um, I hope that this one enjoys this. I hope that it, it creates some nice little uh, nice little stuff for us to see. It'll be nice to uh, film um, because we can't well, without the water on the sides, as you can see. It is very, very clear, so we can film through the sides of these enclosures very easily. Um, and she's been, or he's been, very, very calm. Again, it is out of its element now. It's out of its old home. It doesn't know what it's doing. It's sitting still because it's hoping that nobody sees it or notice it's that it's there 
and wants to eat it. Um, you know, that's their, their main goal is not to get eaten. Um, surviving is the number one thing for them. And, you know, to do that is to stay away from possible predators and, of course, um, find prey. So uh, we'll feed this one probably tomorrow. Uh, I'd like to feed this one right away. So, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. Please comment. I, I wish you guys would comment more. I get the same people commenting. And please don't stop commenting, those of you that do. But I wish more new people would comment. Um, I want to get more interactive here on the channel and with the Erie Arachnids Facebook page to be able to link the two of those together and then work that all into... Um, my Instagram account as well so you guys can see pictures that I put up there that you don't really see anywhere else I try not to put the same pictures up there that I do on my Erie Arachnids page I try to keep them separate so you guys have different things to look at so we need to get some more people uh, to the Erie Arachnids Facebook page um, and we'll try to do some more interactive stuff there uh, and work with the videos too um, so next few days are gonna be hectic for me I got a couple 12-hour days at work um, and then I have vacation on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So next weekend I should be off. Uh, taking my wife back to her doctor's appointment on Friday. Hopefully they'll give us an appointment for her to go in and get those screws out so she can uh, get into the walking boot and start putting some pressure on that foot. Because uh, I know she's getting frustrated and um, tired of, of hopping. Um, but it's a lot on her knee um, doing that hopping. And she just doesn't want to use the crutches. So I'd like to get her out of this these screws got to get out of her feet out of her out of her ankle so that we can get her walking again um, the quicker she starts walking the more active she can get and she needs it um, she needs to get moving so I hope you guys like I said hope you guys enjoyed this uh, again if you want to like or help the channel uh, anymore there is a patreon page I always forget to put the link in below I'll try to remember um, I, what I usually do is I upload these and then once the the thing is updated I'll go back to the description and add things and I always add like some description into what the video is about but I always forget to put the links in there um, my next video uh, I, I may shoot it right after this uh, will be a special video uh, on an artist and her work um, you guys have probably seen if you're on any of the Facebook groups you've probably seen the um, coloring book that she made uh, being shared uh, through her kickstart program and I'll explain all that stuff in the next video uh, I, I do hope that you guys take a look at it and uh, consider uh, backing her to start um, she's she's an absolute phenomenal artist and uh, I, I really hope that she's successful and can get enough sales and get this book out there that she'll want to do the second one which she's you know already considering so I'd love for her to, to to have some success. She's she's such a sweet person and very humble, um, very kind. So you guys will see about that in the next video. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Happy keeping.